Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, first morning here. I uh, did my first night without electricity and running water or facilities. Uh, here, I'll show you just the, the lake. Uh, well, I guess more of a reservoir. And as you can see, absolutely stunning out here. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, quite an experience last night. Um, I got pretty cold. Uh, I got to about 18 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, that would be around about minus 9, minus 10. So quite an experience, uh, not used to that. Um, maybe also not equipped for it. So luckily I had a lot of blankets. I have a little uh, heater that works on propane gas. Um, so that helped, but obviously can't keep that on in the camper for too long. Uh, so bits and pieces. I uh, just made myself a coffee this morning. Um, probably took about two minutes for the, the water to be cold. Um, that's from being boiling hot. Um, either way, looking forward to it. Uh, you know, looking to travel to possibly to Lake Tahoe today. Just see what it's like there. Uh, first part of this trip seems that it's going to be quite cold. So I might need to do a little bit of extra prep. Make sure I get some firewood. Uh, have some shoes uh for the snow uh at this point i don't really have anything that's waterproof um <laughs> needless to say the toes got you know pretty cold and frozen last night um quite important to to wear like dry socks yeah but otherwise you know it's uh driving in the snow was quite an experience for me um i, I guess also you know taking one day at a time um quite excited I see some footprints in the snow uh, luckily no uh, bear footprints or you know wolves none of that here um, but otherwise I guess my main message is if you want to experience the wild and, and the, the beauty of the US uh, there are so much of this it's not just cities um, make sure that you're prepared um, be prepared for for the cold weather uh, if you do find yourself uh, in such a scenario uh, I think additionally make sure that you have enough firewood um, um, I'll be going to the next spot soon and uh, on my way I'll definitely make a stop make sure that I have everything prepared for um, but aside from that you know in regards to the boondocking uh, dispersed camping uh, I think do your do your homework uh, make sure that you know where you can and where you can't go. Um, there are typically signs that says certain spaces that you can can't go. Um, actually, as I'm speaking with you, I'm just noticing these tracks in the in the snow, and uh, quite interestingly, uh, it looks like a paw print. Um, so let me see if I can get a little better image of it and uh, yeah interesting you never know you never know what you're gonna find uh, let's see yeah that's definitely a paw print um, it's not a big paw um, maybe a little bit more like a raccoon uh, initially I was worried you know you don't want to have the big paw prints uh, but at this stage it looks like a small paw print so if I do find the big paw prints in the snow, I'll, I'll make sure I'll let you know. Um, I'll try and give you a little bit of a view on that. I'm not sure if that's going to kind of like show. But either way, you know, um, till next time, I'll do the next posting probably as I'm on the road. Uh, all the best and uh, take care.